American shoppers are enjoying what could be the longest streak of falling food prices in a half century. That's good if you've got a family to feed, not so good for farmers. Here's Manuel Bohorquez. Heather Buen says putting food on the table has gotten easier. Definitely less painful to go to the store. The Texas mom tracks what she spends each week and says savings on staples like bread and eggs add up. I would say I can save anywhere from about $25 to $50 sometimes on my grocery bills in comparison to last year. The average price of a dozen eggs has dropped from $2.57 a year ago to $1.54, down nearly 40 percent. A gallon of milk is about 40 cents cheaper. A pound of ground beef down about 50 cents. The reason? The nation's food supplies have been steadily growing while demand has declined in major overseas markets like China, where a strong dollar has made American goods more expensive. I'm going to put cheese on it. It's good for U.S. consumers like Buen, but not food producers like Pete Bonds of Texas, who owns one of the nation's largest cattle operations. 18 months ago, these cows have been worth $3,000, and they're probably worth 1500 now. And so that loss in value for you means? Several million dollars. Several million dollars. Mm -hmm. He says it's a price drop. Smaller ranchers may not survive. The government has already tried to boost the dairy industry by buying $20 million worth of cheese that will now be distributed to food banks. Whether that's enough depends on how long prices remain lower in the grocery aisle. Michael Byers is CEO of Fiesta Mart. I think that's anybody's uh, guess right now. What we're hearing, it could go on through the end of the year and possibly in the first part of next year. But not everything is cheaper. Elaine, the price of some fruits and vegetables has actually increased, due in part to a drought in California. Manuel Bajorquez, Manuel, thank you.